Hello friends and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Uh, today I'm going to explain what an inside bar is. It's very simple, so you're going to want to check out this video because uh, knowledge really is power and it can help you with your trading. Uh, also, I will give you a simple strategy that you can use to get you started uh, with understanding inside bars. And you know you can use it, although I do not recommend using this strategy by itself and it, it is not perfect. The strategy does not work 100% of the time. Okay, so please be aware of that. There's no perfect strategy here. All right, so what is an inside bar? Uh, well, you need at least two candles. And by the way, it doesn't matter what uh, you know what each period is, whether it's a, you know daily candlesticks or one-minute candles or five-minute hourly, whatever it is. Okay, uh, these all apply. Uh, the inside bar concept still applies regardless of the time frame. Okay, so uh, to know whether a candle or bar is inside, you have to look at the previous or preceding bar or candle. Okay, and if the uh, the high of that period, you know, the top of the upper wick uh, is lower than the preceding top of the upper wick, okay, and then the bottom of the lower wick is higher than the bottom of the preceding lower wick, then it's an inside bar. Uh, so in other words, if the high and the low of the bar is completely covered by the preceding bar or candles high and low, okay, in other words, if it's, as they say, if it's engulfed, completely by the preceding candle, the one before it, then it's an inside bar. All right, uh, you could look at it this way. This bar is completely inside of this one, all right? Uh, so, and by the way, you might ask, well, what if there is no upper wick? Then just use the top of the body, okay? And then if there's no lower wick, just use the bottom of the body, that's all, to decide whether it's completely engulfed by the preceding candle or bar. That's it. It's really simple. And oftentimes, technicians consider an inside bar to be a reversal candle. Again, not 100% of the time. This is not perfect, does not always work. All right. Uh, but uh, so imagine if you had, uh, you know, candles or bars going up, 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 up. Okay. And then you, then you get uh, an inside bar, especially a red one. Uh, then you might think, oh, it's going to reverse. And then the next candles might start to go down, down, down. And the other way around, all right. So if it's uh, you know going, if you have candles going down, 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 and then you get an inside bar, especially if it's green, then you might think, oh, I think maybe it's going to go up, 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 all right. And and what a lot of people do is they'll draw lines to measure it, and I'll show you that in a in a moment. Uh, you know, they'll draw a horizontal line at the high of the preceding bar, and then uh, draw another horizontal line at the low uh, of that bar of that period okay and you'll see why in a moment but yeah so that's what an inside bar is or inside candle candlestick whatever you want to call it all right and so here's a simple uh, strategy that you can use does not work perfectly please be aware okay it's not perfect uh, but okay so you have the preceding candles going down 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 all right and here's here's a candle and then look at the next one it's an inside bar and it's green also all right notice that it's engulfed by the preced preceding one Okay, and uh, you might think, oh, maybe it's a reversal. Okay, you could either buy immediately, or if you want to draw those horizontal lines, you can draw some horizontal lines. Uh, what they did here actually was draw horizontal lines at the uh, top and bottom of of the inside bar. Interestingly enough, uh, so and you could just draw some draw some lines there, and then wait until uh, you have another candle that pierces above that high. All right, which is the top of the wick of the inside bar here. Okay, when you see a close above that, then you can buy there if you want to. Uh, but you might want to set a stop loss a little bit below the low of that inside bar. All right, and hopefully it'll go up, up, up. All right, and then uh, if you're into shorting, which I do not recommend for beginners. Okay, uh, short selling can be <laughs> very dangerous. Dangerous for beginners. Only do it if you know what you're doing and use very small position sizes and and respect your stop losses if you choose to do it at all. And you don't have to do it. But if you if you do choose to short sell, uh, then okay. So you have a trend that's up, and then you get a uh, an inside bar, and it's a red one too, and a big red one, and so that might indicate. Uh, a possible reversal in the making because you know here here's the preceding bar and then the inside bar 
completely engulfed by this one, right? Uh, and so what they did here was they uh, drew horizontal lines for the top and bottom of that inside bar, all right? Uh, and then they waited until you had uh, a close below, or you wait, just waited until it uh, pierced with a red candle below uh, that low there. Uh, and then they put their stop loss right above the high, that horizontal line that they drew here, the high of that inside bar. And uh, fortunately here it worked out quite well. It went down, down, down. Uh, but you know this is riskier because of short selling. Uh, you might just want to go long only if you want something a little bit uh, safer, possibly. All right, that's an interesting idea. Uh, so there's your inside bar. I, I hope you enjoyed it and learned from it. And if you really appreciate it, why don't you go ahead and give this a thumbs up right now, please, and uh, leave a comment if you've tried it or you're inter interested in this or you have suggestions for other videos. And if you have not subscribed, why not do that right now? All right, go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted whenever I put out a new video like this one. All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon.